So I've got one of the jab prod hornet traps here that you guys in the UK might be interested in seeing. And this is one that's pretty selective because a lot of the insects can get out through this grill. So this was my bait. There's hardly any hornets around and this was some of the queens that I caught last year. You can see the yellow legs on that. Well, sorry, that was this spring into April, May time. And what the beauty about this trap is you put your bait underneath. I need to rebait this because bees have eaten everything as well, but the bees can come and go. At the bottom of this box, you've got a grill so that if you've got hornets in it and you want to come and, for example, you've got hornets and you've got your trap on, you can see the hornets from either side. You can lift this off and keep the hornets in there and change the bait if you want to, if you're getting low. So I've got two of these in this apiary, one up there the other side by my bees. These cones, allow all the other insects to get out because the holes are big enough. They're like queen excluded material, but I think they're a little bit bigger than a queen excluder. I don't know the exact size, but the hornets come in and they can't get out because of this device on the end. It's like a little cap. So it's like almost, it's not 100%, but they, once they've gone in through there, if you look from this side, Griff, that's a very small hole they've got to crawl, crawl out for if they can find it. So this cap sits on the end of that and directs only down. So once that's back on, the chances of a hornet getting out once it's in are virtually nothing. But they will crawl in and, it, and it, it's like a funnel and it naturally funnels them in. I had a, quite a few hornets um, at home during the last three weeks. They all went in the trap really well, but now it, it seems to have lost its oomph. I don't know whether the nest has been destroyed nearby or they just failed. But one thing I will say about Asian hornets is sometimes they do make nests and they just never get away. That's, that's probably genetics or just a poor spring or a poor summer. There's not a lot of food around now. So if there's any Asian hornets around, really they should have made a big nest by now or they just die off. It's sometimes that happens. But this trap's good. I'm really pleased with them. I'm, I'll be absolutely honest with you. I haven't got all the other traps made up because I've been running, pushed for time and they're all in the box ready to put together, but it's just the time it takes. So I'll probably make two or three more up because I know at the end of the year, if we can put the traps out again, we do trap some of the founding queens that emerge later in the year for next year. So you're always trying to, one in the spring, you're mopping up the last year's ones before they make a nest. In the autumn, you're trying to mop up the ones that have just been produced, but you get a second chance in the spring again. So it's like, like that, you try and do the two, but they are good traps. They're about 45 euros each. Uh, they're a little bit expensive, but they're not when you consider the size of the trap and how selective they are, so you don't trap any other insects. That's good. And I know if, if everybody watched the, your channel, same as me, I know last year you had, a, you had a really bad year with Asian hornets. Yeah. I suppose we're having a really bad year with wasps this year. Yeah. Is it a better year for you, Asian hornet wise, this year? Absolutely. It, it's two different years. I honestly thought that I would never be able to keep bees again after last year. And I, and, I, and I don't mean that like jokingly. It was that bad last year that I thought that I would really struggle to carry on in my business. I buried myself in my building. I forgot about beekeeping and then I picked up the pieces this spring. And this spring, I don't know why, but we just haven't had the amount of hornets around. We had an easterly wind here for about six weeks, which blew a lot of the founding queens. I'm not saying they're founding queens that were here, but it gave the queens that were here a hard time. There was not much food around. And that's very critical when they're starting a nest because those founding queens have got to make their own nest at the start and they've got to build everything. And if the weather's poor, cold, drizzly, which is what it was, uh, they're going to struggle. So that's one good thing that happened this year. The other thing is, uh, I was going to say, the UK had a big influx because the easterly wind that was so strong, giving them grief here, blew a lot of them, assisted them over the channel, like Dover to Calais. That distance is so small, you can almost, you can see it with the eye. You imagine that a hornet can fly up to 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers, no problem at all without one stop. With the wind behind it, it would have been striver. And that's why I believe you've got such a bad year in the UK. Plus the fact that all across the French coast, we had a really bad year last year. So all those queens that came out have all, well, a lot survived and then a lot blew over to the UK. But why we haven't got more here, I don't know. We've trapped in our apiaries a lot. What you're seeing here isn't much, but in the, in the Vita Pharma traps, we're getting a, on average about 200 founding queens per apiary. So that's an awful lot of traps, an awful lot of queens that we've taken out the system early in the year. Trapping in the spring, Richard, really important. Trapping in the spring, and if you have a previous infection, you can do a lot of good by trapping a very small period in the end of October, November, while the queens are released. That does mop up a lot of queens going into winter. But if you imagine any colony of bees or whatever, making another 
uh, or producing offspring to go into the winter, there's always a lot of losses. What I, what I mean by that is hornets, like everybody else, they have a lot of debt of losses in the spring. So a lot of the queens you may kill in the, winter, in the autumn might well have died anyway. They reckon only, if, you have a, if you have, say, 80 queens released from an average nest, maybe a few more, if 80 released, only 20% might live to make nests the following spring. So you could almost say, well, let's leave winter do its job and then trap in the spring. So why waste your time and your... But it's just good to get them while you can. It's twice a year, but the most prevalent is spring, early spring, and then you don't trap the common hornet because they don't start flying till end of mid-April. Whereas the Asian hornets, young queens start, or the, the young, or the queens that want to start young nests, they start flying really here, end of February, early March, in some cases when it's warm, when it's an early spring. So you can Ho do a lot of good. Hopefully we won't get that, uh, that far in the UK. Well, I just hope that the UK has taken the stance of doing the right thing and pouring as much resources into it as they can. Because year in, year out, if you get a residual amount, it just starts to grow after that. But if you keep just knocking it down to nothing, you'll never have anything really growing. That's the key to it. They didn't do that here.